Hello everyone, if you've ever wanted to be a polyamorous vampire, then this is the video for you. Also, if you haven't wanted to be a polyamorous vampire, then this is also the video for you. Please watch this. This is fucking insane. Also, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 275,000 subscribers before the end of the month, so I'd really appreciate that. Also, please become a member if possible. Okay, so this video is called We're Polyamorous Vampires. Love, don't judge. Now, this was made by a YouTube channel that I really love called Truly, and they have a sub subsection called Love Don't Judge. Now, I've talked about Truly in the past. We've talked about the girl who just eats meat her entire life. She only eats meat. We've talked about limb lengthening. Uh, I think we've talked about a few other weird ones, but this one may be the weirdest, and it's not because they're in a poly relationship. It's because they claim to be vampires. You are old enough to get out of your twilight phase. It's over. It's over, though. It's fine. You're not Bella Swan, and you never will be. But she hasn't realized that. This is Daily. I am a polyamorous vampire fairy witch. She fell in love with Logan. Logan and I have been together well over 10 years now. We got married in 2016. MGK and Megan Fox wish that this was them, you know? Because they tried their hardest to do this. They tried to, like, drink each other's blood. They tried to like do insane shit and oh it just fell through because you realized that that's not who you are you're not a goddamn vampire these people had been together for 10 years and then decided that they're Ooh, it's so good. They also live with Logan's girlfriend, Alona. His girlfriend is just as important as I am. Both relationships are equal. And today, Daly is celebrating her two-year anniversary with her coven of polyamorous witches. Ah. Since finding love in their polycule, Daly has been criticized for her choice in relationships. So I, mm, okay, here's the problem, right? I don't think that it's a problem with your relationship at all. You know, I, you can be in a poly relationship and be happy, I think. I haven't known anybody to be in a poly relationship and happy, but I've only known two people who have been in them and they were serial cheaters. That's why they said that they were poly just because they liked cheating on their girlfriends. Now, <laughs> this, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. I don't give a fuck. You're not a vampire. I'm so, I'm so sorry though. You're not. I'm a werewolf though. When you see a man with multiple partners, you're like, oh yeah, high five, you know? But when a woman is with multiple partners, it's like, oh, she's a I I agree. That's a that's a shitty thing. That's I would happening. describe our, our all right. Powdered bones, skull not included. This is something that a target mom gets during Halloween time. This does not belong in your house. Three hundred and sixty-five days a year. Relationship as a definitely like a life partnership. We make each other laugh constantly. We tease each other constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they do a Dracula laugh every time they chuckle. Instantly, he loves to tickle me until I throw him off me. He loves to tickle me until I throw up. I vomit all over this guy, and uh, this is his face every time it happens. Also, nice bug. You got a bug on your neck. He's extremely supportive. I've always been very attracted to her unique energy spectrum that she puts off that no one else does in the same not a real thing unique energy spectrum not a real thing it's not right can we can somebody agree with me that you're attracted <laughs> kind of way good morning. good morning good morning baby our relationship was polyamorous from the beginning his girlfriend is just as important as i am now we are married so like obviously that comes with some responsibility yeah. but as far as like relationship both relationships are equal she's always been she's always been here she's never not been here. i think i moved in with you guys like what it was like it was like six years ago yeah. no but it was like two months into us like actually dating oh, yeah sure. like it was really fast all three of us <laughs> used to be together and then they broke up and then we broke up and then we got back together she's just been here ever since interesting so they the two women broke up and then he got back together with the one who isn't his wife but they've been married but then he got back with the one who he was married to so then it's like at that point if you're fucking both of them then they might as well be together interesting also i mean what the hell is happening here are these nixon hands so today is actually the two-year anniversary with me and my three other partners. Oh my god, how sweet. They're celebrating with a headless oppa. And it's also the anniversary of our coven forming. So today we're no, kind no, of- No, 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 no. Two-year anniversary? That's nice. It's also the anniversary of your coven forming? Are we on the same planet? I'm sorry. Because this, to me, looks like Alphaba. I'd like to join this. Kind of celebrating our anniversary, we're going to do a little ritual and also Whoa. go to dinner and just have a-, a did she say ritual? They cut to a beautiful dog and she said ritual. Um, I just want to confirm that I saw that correctly. Celebrating our anniversary. We're going to do a little ritual. Oh, you're going to do a little ritual. What does that mean? Slit this little thing's throat? And also go to dinner and just have a... Oh, go to dinner as well. What do you eat? Bats? A coven date. So we coven are in date. a polycule. 
And a polycule is essentially just the word for a network of people that are all dating in some way. All connected huh. through They're dating. all connected through a romantic relationship. Yeah. So in our polycule, we have me and Logan who are married. I mean, you must have favorites though. And you must talk shit about the others behind their backs. There is no way that you're all fucking and you're all not a little gossipy. Come on, especially as witches. And then I have my partner, Jeffrey, who is a gay man. And then I have my girlfriend, Zoe, uh, who is married to my boyfriend, Zeph. And then Logan has his girlfriend, Alona. And then Jeffrey also has a boyfriend. That boyfriend is not in this polycule coven thing? What the fuck happened? Yeah, Jeffrey has a boyfriend. Uh, we've sort of shunned him from our religion. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's a it's a long story, but um, mm, ooh, Jeffrey's partner didn't want to like be sacrificed, I guess. So we just sort of pushed him out slowly. Yeah. That's a witch cottage core house right there though. The coven is myself, Jeffrey, Zoe. So what's in there? What the fuck is going on, guys? <laughs> Dude, I, I see no difference between this and Disney adults. You're both doing shit that's fucking silly. <laughs> we and Zeph. We use the term coven because we do practice magic together. We identified that we each represented one of the, the elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we did a ritual together and it was just like the yeah. energy was so palpable and we kind of all just looked at each other and we're like, what happened? After we started doing rituals together. Like a, like you all represent different parts, uh, sorry, different elements. And then when you all came together, you felt, you went, what happened? I would ask that if nothing, I would say, what happened? If nothing happened, I'd go, uh, did anything happen? What happened? You can't say that you had this magical experience. And then you went, what happened? In reality, you got, you all stood around and waved your fucking wands. And then you went, um, did you feel that? And then everybody fucking make something up because you want to be part of your fucking witchcraft coven. Uh, we started forming a romantic partnership. We would get together and you could feel Our like energies. the magic and the, the connection and the chemistry. I just found myself That's called friendship. In love with these people. I call upon a direction of the east, the watchtower of the east, the direction of new beginnings and transformations and change. Join us now, hell and welcome. Hail, hail and welcome. welcome. I call upon the watchtower of the south, the element- I have no excuse for having not that many friends. You know, like if you can find a group of people who will be part of your witch cult, what the fuck is my excuse? Like, I just don't want to be social. Fuck off. I'll go out tonight. I'll do something tonight with Hannah. Just fuck it. There's no need for me to complain about not having a pop in social life when these people have found people who will do rituals with them. To fire of passion and purification, bring strength to our circle. Hail and welcome. Hail, Hail and welcome. And welcome. I call upon the watchtowers of the West, water, intuition. Do they all have, they all have the tattoos for like each of their fucking things, dude. And sacred knowledge and the ancestors, hail and welcome. Hail. hail and welcome. I call upon the watchtowers of the North. Guardians. All right, you're doing too much. I'm sorry, but okay. Nobody else has a fucking witch hat. Maybe for a reason. Okay. I could take everybody else seriously. I believe that they're all witches. And then you put on a witch hat. Earth, the roots of old and new bring strength and life. Hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Watch this be like we down the street from me and me. And basically what that means is we, we work with the energies and the elements around us. Uh, to create alchemy and to create changes in our life. Okay, but you, you four are witches. I thought everybody was part of the coven because there's, this is the main guy's wife, but the main guy's girlfriend and him aren't part of this? Lives. Roots of old and always binding. Roots of old <laughs> and always binding. Roots of old and always binding. Roots this planet of is old. very much alive. Always it's a binding. breathing spirit and we are in communication with it. Okay. If that's how you have to communicate with a spirit by making a fire, like a literal fire twuck sound, then you're not talking to a spirit. No way. Ooh. 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 So sad. The saddest noise you've ever heard. Literally wailing. Also wearing uh, the shirt that Sandman wore in Spider-Man. 
is a negative What's that? aspect when a woman Oh nice witch bite witch bite I'm 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 <laughs> witches used to love raisin bread is poly because misogyny misogyny yeah because when that's not what I'm commenting on though I'm telling you right now this is none of this is coming from a place of misogyny I get that you kept the cups from New Year's Eve 2012 but maybe it's time to throw those away maybe it's time to stop drinking human baby blood when you see a man with multiple women or multiple partners they're like oh yeah high five you know but when a woman is with multiple men or or you know multiple partners it's like oh she's a Wow. All right. Let's so did, did they beep out the word freak? Because I because <laughs> I still believe that some of the things that they're doing are freakish, but I don't believe that the polyamory is the thing that's making them freakies. Go eat. Oh, let's go eat. Let's go eat the I dog I killed. Who will walk up to me and they'll go, hey, man, I just see that you've got all these chicks, man. Like, how do you do that? Like, just like teach me. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm polyamorous. It's just one of those things where like, you know, as long as you are being open and everything is consensual between you and your partner. Right off the bat, if some bro comes up to you and says, dude, how do you get so many chicks? Dude, I'm so, oh, I'm so jealous. Let me get like you. And then you say, no, but they're all witches. I think that's the fastest way for a guy to go, oh, never mind. No, I'm, a, I'm, okay i'm okay no but they're all witches they all believe that they're witches and they do rituals every sunday and they pray and make fire talk noises there's your consenting adults doing whatever you want that's great people see you know us and they find out that we're poly and they're like oh my god i could never do that but, but then, they, like, they've cheated on up. their husband like three times yeah. or their wife or they've divorced and remarried with people they've cheated with i'm like and that's normal for you that's yeah. what you consider normal just you know see i get that right just kidding i don't get that this is a, an aside there is no way that i could ever focus on anybody besides hannah and myself you can only i, I my brain does not work in that way. I can barely take care of myself and little goosey cat and Hannah. Then if you were to add another human to that situation, I think that I would implode. That sounds awful. Now to other people, sure, good for you. But to me, I'm still trying to remember to put on deodorant. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, I don't even brush my teeth. I, I just am so forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be tested. If you want to have sex with other people, if you want other relationships, just say that, admit that. You'll find someone who's cool with that. Well, and life is so short and, and life is hard. You well, life is short for witches. Um, statistically, I, I read something from the Associated Press that was like, um, most witches don't live past 35 because of all the rituals and stuff. And <laughs> I would like to outwitch them. I'd like to be like, well, actually, according to a study, uh, you guys aren't looking too hot. <laughs> you find those pockets of joy mm -hmm. and and love like hold on to it and like screw what everybody else thinks yeah. because yeah or screw everybody else or screw everybody else <laughs> no and thank you, you <laughs> <laughs> no thank you all right i want to make a toast here is to two years of my beautiful coven being part of our polycule i love you guys so much thank you for bringing so much magic into my life I love you. oh literal and physical literally and literal and figurative magic Mostly figurative. Hey guys. Cheers! Yay. Yay. She had to say magic. <laughs> Love, don't judge. Now, I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you're doing well. I just find all of this so fucking funny. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is this is amazing. This is the YouTube content that I've always wanted. I'm gonna subscribe to this channel. The fact that these people believe that they're witches in a coven and they all have sex and then they're poly. I mean, it's genius. I absolutely love it. And here's the thing. I will make fun of you uh, forever because you're putting this out online. But if you are to do this in private, fuck it. Go for it. I don't care. But the fact that you're putting out online, you're being covered by a pretty big media source i'll fuck with you uh but i'm glad you're happy whatever blah 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 <laughs> anyways i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did then please leave a like and subscribe thank you to all my members for supporting me if you want to become a member then click the link in the description below also check out my clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness never stop the link to that will also be in the description thank you all so much for watching have a great day bye